Let's look at a couple of more complicated uh, looking rationalize the denominator problems. So here we've got a triangle ABC. It's got a base length of 6 root 2 take away 2 root 5. We're also told that the area of the triangle is 5. Find the exact perpendicular height of the triangle. OK, so the height of a triangle is half its base times by its height. So if we say that its height, its perpendicular height, which is that length there, let's call that h. So we would be saying that 1 half times the base 6 root 2 take away 2 root 5 times by the height must be equal to its area 5. So if I multiply this through by a half, um, I would get 3 root 2 minus root 5. h is equal to 5. I could alternatively have multiplied both sides by 2. Okay, uh, It wouldn't make any difference to the end result. And then divide both sides by that bracket, and I would get... 5 over 3 root 2 minus root 5. OK? Now, we want uh, to rationalise the denominator for that because it's quite messy as it stands. So we're going to multiply that top and bottom by 3 root 2 plus root 5 over 3 root 2 plus root 5. 5 times 3 root 2, so 15 root 2. And 5 times root 5, so 5 root 5. And in the denominator, we've got 3 root 2 times 3 root 2, so 3 3s are 9. Root 2 times root 2 is 2, so 9 2s are 18. 3 root 2 times root 5 is 3 root 10. And minus root 5 times 3 root 2 is minus uh, 3 root 10. And we've got minus root 5 times root 5, which will get me minus 5. So we've got the 15 root 2 plus 5 root 5 in the numerator. And in the denominator, the roots cancel, and I'm left with 18 take away 5, so 13. OK, so that is the exact perpendicular height of the triangle. OK, so that's the first one. Now, the second, the second problem here, we've got 1 over root 2 plus root 3 minus root 5. Now, we want to find a way of simplifying this down, OK? Um, to remove these thirds from the denominator. Now, maybe our initial idea might be to multiply top and bottom in the same way that we've done before and multiply top and bottom by maybe root 2 minus root 3 plus root 5. So to change the uh, sign, there's both signs in this case. So if we try that, Let's see what happens. So we've got plus root 3 minus root 5. And we're going to multiply top and bottom by root 2 minus root 3 plus root 5. OK. Well, the numerator seems all right. That's uh, nice and easy. OK. So now we've got three terms, OK? Multiplied by another three terms. Remember, everything's got to be multiplied by everything else. So we're going to have root 2 times root 2, so 2. Root 2 times minus root 3, so minus root 6. Root 2 times root 5 is going to be root 10. Root 3 times root 2, so plus root 6. Root 3 times minus root 3 is minus root 3. Oh, sorry, minus... Uh, 3, sorry. 
There we are, getting ahead of myself. And root 3 times root 5 is root 15. I've also got minus root 5 times root, t times root 2, so minus root 10. Minus root 5 times minus root 3, so plus root 15. And minus root 5 times by root 5 is minus 5. OK. So what's going to cancel? Well, in the denominator, we've got the root 6s are definitely going to cancel. The root 10s are definitely going to cancel. So I'm going to be left with root 15. So this seems to have uh, done part of the job. So we've got 2, take away 5, so minus 3. And we've got the minus root 6 is cancelling. The root 10 is cancelling. And we've got, oh, I missed that minus 3 there. Apologies. 2 take away 3 is minus 1. Take away minus 5, so minus 6, sorry. So that deals with the uh, those values. And we've got 2 root 15s left over. OK. Now, we haven't fully rationalised the denominator, but we have got a step there. Because the next step uh, we can do, we've done this kind of thing before, because now we've just got one third of the denominator. So we need to multiply that by minus 6 minus 2 root 15 over minus 6 minus 2 root 15. OK. So, root 2 times minus 6, so minus 6 root 2. Root 2 times minus 2 root 15, so minus 2 root 30. We've got the minus root 3 times minus 6, so plus 6 root 3. And minus root 3 times minus 2 root 15. So, we're going to have plus 2 root 45. Yeah, that so it could be simplified down as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it for the moment. We've got root 5 times minus 6. And root 5 times minus 2 root 15. So minus 2 root uh, 15 times 5 is 75. That also can be simplified, but I'm just uh, going to leave it alone for the moment. Uh, minus 6 times minus 6, so 36. We're getting at minus 6 times the two, minus 2 root 15, so plus 12 root 15. And we're getting at 2 root 15 times minus 6, so minus 12 root 15. And then 2 root 15 times minus 2 root, fi root 15. 2 twos are 4. Root 15 times root 15 is 15. 4 15s are 60. Whew, right. OK. So we have minus 6 root 2. Now minus 2 root 30. Root 30 uh, can't be simplified, so we'll leave that one alone. We've got 6 root 3. That can't be simplified. 2 root 45. Now root 45 is... Um, uh, 3, so 9 goes into it 5 times. So that's 3 root 5, so 6 root 5. Minus 6 root 5. Ah, so they're going to cancel. Okay, so that cancels with that. So we can get rid of those. And then we've got minus 2 root 75. So 75, root 75, 25 times 3, so that's 5 root 3, so that's minus 10 root 3. Now we've got 6 root 3, take away 10 root 3, so that's minus 4 root 3. So minus 4 root 3. And in the denominator, these 12 root 5s can cancel. 36 take away 60 
gets us down to minus 24. You could then divide through by 2, top and bottom, and minus 2, because they're all negative. So divide through by minus 2, so we're going to get 3 root 2 plus root 30 plus 2 root 3 all over 12. Okay, And that is the final answer for this problem. So this is way beyond what you would get in an exam situation, this question. Okay, It's a really good test, however, of your third knowledge and your ability to manipulate them. Okay, So it's not examinable, but it is very good practice of your key skills.